Many new people here today at Utica Rome Speedway, including 20-year-old Tyler Pete, actually started his career when he was seven running slingshots. He has now been in a sportsman and been racing since 2016. We're at the Utica Rome Speedway practice, in case you were wondering, how oh, it is a beautiful day. How are we doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good, good. Track uh, is one you know well, or have we been here much? Uh, I've ran here a few times with the series. I've ran here a few extra times just for fun. Um, not too familiar with the place, but it's not my first time here either. Okay. Fonda is where you have most of your laps then? Uh, Fonda, no. Fonda's going to be a new place for us this year. We ran Middletown last year, but uh, really? this year with Middletown closing, we wanted to expand a little bit and uh, run some more Dale related tracks. So we're going to run Fonda and wherever else we can. What, so do you have a drive to get here then? Are you closer to yes. Orange County than here? Yeah, so Orange County was about an hour. Uh, it took us about three hours to get here really yeah Fonda's about three and a half but i'm excited to be there every week and uh we'll see what happens so if you want to be a sponsor for the diesel for everything this that's year right. tyler could use it because they're gonna be putting some miles that's right. on it this year started at age seven you and i were talking about this you're like the third person i saw i've seen today who started in slingshots some people have told me that out of all the forms you can do that would train you for a moderate sportsman that's probably the best one probably the closest are they right I would say so, yeah, because especially once you move to the sports, when it's a lot about momentum and staying straight, and one thing I learned the most in the slingshots was keeping your momentum up and staying straight. Okay. So, although the cars aren't exactly the same, there's a lot sure. of driver um, abilities that carry over from one to the other. And unlike a go-kart where there's no suspension or anything, right. Right? Right. you do learn a little bit about setup and things oh, with that absolutely, too? absolutely, yeah. Uh, there are some setup things that you would learn that actually correlate to certain things we'll do with this car. and. Um, they might not be as drastic as one or the other, but mm -hmm. they definitely match up. So how old were you when went from, did you go from slingshot right to sports events? Yes. And yes. how old were you then? Uh, the, 14? 15, I believe. 15. 15. What was that like for an adjustment? Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it really? was. I thought with the power difference, it was going to be a lot different, but mm -hmm. I got in my fair share of jingle ups, but <laughs> it wasn't too bad. You know, I thought the transition was pretty good. Okay. How are we doing now? Uh, what is it? Seven years into it now? I think? Yeah, six or seven. Six yeah, or seven. Um, a lot better than we started. Um, we're running a lot harder tracks with a lot better people, and we're really starting to get better with the car. And okay. We're carrying some momentum from last year, hopefully. So. Hopefully we can just have a better year this year. Are we winning races? We're winning a couple races. I think this year we got to pull off some more wins, but uh, hopefully that's nothing out of the books. You know, hopefully we can pull off more than last year. Are some things different that you have to do to run Fonda versus Orange County? Like, were they American racers? Were they the same package? They were Hoosiers. And, uh, okay, so we got some learning to do. Yeah, so the Hoosiers to American racers, we've been back and forth for a few years, and it's kind of difficult doing that. Yeah. But, um, that was another thing we wanted to stay on one tire this year and okay. kind of focus on our American Racer program. No, it makes it easier than having to adjust the ride heights. Right. I mean, if you had two cars, right. be, but, but then you need the money for two cars right. and you have to that's work it. on two cars. Yeah. So that's right. <laughs> that takes up a, one car, that's it. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work for Alex. Um, Alex Friesen? Jankowski. Oh, Jankowski. Uh, oh, really? Him. Yeah, work on his car there. And uh, he helps me out a lot with my racing and set up oh, advice and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I really couldn't do it without them. I get a lot yeah. of knowledge from him and Bates and what they do down there. Mm -hmm. So you're full-time into this then, aren't I'm you? I'm full-time into it, yeah. You're a fortunate man at age I'm 20. You're yeah. following your dreams, That's right? That's right. Seven days a week, this is what I do, yep. Yeah, but even that can get old sometimes too, can it? Oh, uh, it can get old every now and then. You get frustrated pretty mm -hmm. easy and you got to take a day or two to just sit down and relax, but... And yeah, talk to your friends who have regular right, jobs and right. go... Yeah, I, I'm fine. I'm, I I'm good. Right? <laughs> oh, I worked till four last, four in the morning last night. Yeah. 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 But uh, no, you just gotta sit down and relax sometimes and keep going. You know. All right. Well, it's good to meet you, Tyler. Yeah, thank you. I you hope too. you have fun. Tyler's gonna get with me on Facebook, so he's gonna keep me posted when he gets that first win of the year. So hopefully it won't be long. You and I'll talk on the phone about Perfect. that first win. Okay. Hopefully. Guys, make sure to turn on the notifications, subscribe, hit the likes, all that good stuff. Getting a lot for you here today at Utica Row.